So hello and welcome to the computer lab. So in this video, I'm going to be addressing a problem that Unify Protect users have had for a while now. And that is the one that says the Protect controller is offline or has lost power when you are viewing time lapse in a browser. And also if you are looking from your mobile phone, it actually shows an image that is from the future, which I'll explain in a bit. So you can see I'm logged in to my Unify Protect here. And if I go across to the um, time lapse like so you will see that the live view briefly shows and then you get this protect controller offline lost power the video is still there as I scrub through the timeline you can see the actual uh, it's blurred out but it actually scrubs through the timeline so it's suggesting that the camera and protect is working uh, however each time you try and click on, um, pick on an event or a time lapse it basically just doesn't show anything uh, when you're viewing it within a browser. So you've got the Protect Controller offline, lost power. So Unify Protect is failing. You'll not, uh, notice the date there, it's 2021. So I'm recording this video in August 2021. That is important because there's a bit that will show you a bit further on where um, the Unify Protect has grabbed something uh, and then labeled it from in the future. So just to give you an idea what it looks like on um, a mobile phone or a mobile device. You can see the date in the corner there. It is 21 uh, August 21. As I scrub through the timeline, the camera's working. It's not showing the lost power um, fault that we showed in the browser, but as we scroll through the timeline, then stop, it then shows this grab on my particular device. It shows uh, this grab from the future. And again, I will just scrub again through the timeline. And I'm just looking for an event uh, that I can stop on. It doesn't really matter, I can stop anywhere. It will show this uh, grab from the future as it would be. So I've stopped again. And you see I'm not even on an event there. And it's put this picture in um, that again I will show the date on. So you look in the top left hand corner, the date is showing 2022. So I was recording this in 2021. So the event keeps overriding every other time let's grab uh, and overriding all the views. So I need to sort out or delete this file that is from the future as it would be. So to do that, I'm going to SSH into the controller. However, before I do that, uh, I just want to show you the um, different issues that people are having. So if I just do a quick Google for Unify a Protect Controller Offline Lost Power, you'll see that there's lots of hits come up. Uh, and I initially obviously scroll through these on the Unify blog um, and also in Reddit. Uh, and there is this particular mention that sort of got me down this path on Reddit from a user called Tilglad361. Um, he or she put this note uh, on somebody else that was requesting help. So they were saying they had the same issue and they've basically SSH'd into the controller and deleted some of these files that they've had from the future. Uh, like I say, I have had some success doing it this way. However, I have tried it with another one and it didn't work. I ended up having to reset the um, controller or uninstall, sorry, the protect from the controller, which I will show at the end of the video. But I first wanted to show you this way in case it works for you. So obviously they're saying delete from these files. Yours will be different depending on when you're trying to attempt this repair. And I'd say only try and attempt this repair if you need to keep the um, some footage that you've got within your protect controller. If you're not bothered about uh, stuff that's been recorded and then yeah, I'll just suggest uninstalling protect and reinstalling it, uh, like I say, which I will show you at the end uh, of the video. If I just quickly look on the Unify blogs, you'll see this is just one I've just picked up on. You can see straight away in the middle there, you've got the protect controller offline, lost power, pretty much the same thing that I was just showing you at the beginning of the video. Uh, so it is a known fault to many uh, a Protect user, which given the uh, magnitude of the fault, you would think that Unify would come up with a fix for this issue. However, I couldn't find any official response from Unify on their website. So with all that being said, I'm now going to show you how to SSH into the controller and what commands to use to get rid of some of these files. I'm going to be using a program called Putty. By all means, if you uh, haven't got it, go to Google and download uh, Putty. Uh, so you can SSH into your controller, or you can use um, the Windows PowerShell. Obviously, make sure you're running it in admin by pushing window and X, or just right-clicking on the Windows sign in the bottom left-hand corner, and then picking up on Windows PowerShell. Like I say, I'm going to be using Putty, so you're going to need to know your controller IP address, and you can find that by logging into your controller by going to unify.ui.com. 
And then we just need to enter the IP address. Yours will be different, but mine is 192.168.0.195 and then click on open. And then we are presented with the uh, security alert. Once we've clicked yes in the bottom left hand corner, uh, Putty won't uh, warn us again. It basically just means it doesn't recognize the connection. But at this point, it's worth noting, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, it's worth just logging into your cloud key and checking on the advanced tab, as you can see on the screen now, and making sure SSH is enabled. And if it isn't, enable it and then change the password to something that you, you uh, recognize. I think the default is UBNT, so that's worth a go if you can't get in. But it's worth changing the password anyway to something that uh, you're more familiar with. Okay, so once you've done them things, then obviously Putty will log in and then we can log in with the default uh, root uh, username, so R-O-O-T. The password will be the one you have just set within your cloud key uh, with SSH enabled, uh, or it might be the UBNT if you're using the default ones. And then you should get to the welcome to the cloud key plus as you can see on the screen now and that is root at and manage the computer lab yours will say something slightly different so the next things we need to do is um, some ssh commands now obviously this video can't teach you all the ssh commands um, that are out there but i will explain the ones that we are going to use to access files and folders within the cloud key plus so my first command is going to be cd space forward slash srv forward slash unify hyphen protect forward slash and then I'm going to push enter or return on the keyboard. So this is basically telling the Linux command or the SSH command to change directory to the directory that you can see on the screen. So it's going to change the directory to unify protect or the if you want the long windy one it's going to be on the computer lab SRV unify protect. Now, once we are here, we can then uh, type ls, which basically lists the contents of the current directory that you can see on the screen. So I'm going to type ls on the end of my uh, SSH command, and then the, this will list the current directory within that folder. So within the, the Unify Protect folder, we have got backups, data, downloads, logs, migrations, temp, uploads, and video. The one that we want to be looking at is video. So I'm going to change the directory to the video directory. So I'm going to put CD space and then video. This then will set, as you can see, the folder, pretty much like you're looking at File Explorer within Windows, it's going to change that folder to the video one. I'm going to type LS to list the contents of that directory. And then now we start getting to the actual nitty gritty of what we want to be looking at. So there is a couple, um, well, there's a few different commands we can use at this stage to uh, remove the 2022 folder or the items that are inside that folder. Uh, the easy one to go for would be the rm space hyphen r space and 2022 forward slash and that would remove the whole of the 2022 folder. However, if you are trying to identify specific files within a folder, you might not want to delete the whole lot. For example, your uh, Unify Protect might be um, running 2021 and it might have put something in December if you was in January so that picture is in the future but it's in the same folder, uh, the year folder so you don't want to delete the whole folder. So like I said you could type rm uh, space hyphen r and then space and then your folder you want to delete so in my case it would be 2022 but let's get rid of that and let's try a different command. So the command that I want to show you is the rm space uh, ri, which is the remove interactive one. And the reason why I'm going to show you and use that is because it will list each file individually. However, before we get that um, far in, let's try one of the other commands. So the one right at the bottom, the rm dir, which is the remove the directory, can be used. But if it's got something inside it, it won't let you delete it. So for example, if we type in rm dir space 2022, forward slash push enter return you can see it failed to remove 2022 because it is not empty so we can't use that command the other one that we could try is the rm space uh, hyphen r 2022 um, and that would remove it but we don't know what's been removed and like i said earlier if you've got a file that you want to delete out of there and not the whole lot then we need to use a different command um, so we could force remove it rm um, space rf space 2022 forward slash and that would force it to remove it but let's get to the one that i want to talk about so the rm space hyphen 
RI space 2022 forward slash push enter return. So it's saying, do you want to descend into the directory 2022 and yes, push Y for yes and then push enter. Um, and then it's saying, okay, in that file, we've got one called 01, which is gonna be January. Do you want us to descend into that? So yes. Uh, and then we want to descend into 29 of the first. So if we're doing it this way, we can pick the files. Now it is quite long winded, I've got to say. So if you're gonna go down this route, it can get really tedious because you've got to drill down each directory within that folder and check that the files are okay. So you can see here, he's going to push yes, yes. Um, you know, are you sure you want to remove regular file? And you just push yes for each one that you want to remove and then enter each time you do it. And obviously for each yearly folder, you're going to have monthly folders labeled one to one to 12 uh, for January to December. And then within each of them folders. So for example, we're in January at the moment, you're going to have the amount of days that are in the month that you are working on. So you've got to drill down each of them um, days and then find all the footage from there and just check it is all okay. So it's not really the best way to do it. Um, but it is a way to do it because um, it's um, it's an interactive way to delete. So if you don't want to delete it, you could push no um, and then obviously yes to delete. Um, so uh, remove the regular file as the command is there. However, uh, we're going to kill this uh, by pushing a control and Z on the keyboard uh, and that will stop the process. And then we are now back to the same command that was at before in the video folder. I've just typed LS just to list that 2022 folder because what I'm going to do now is just remove the whole of 2022 because like I say, I am recording this in 2021. So that's been put in accidentally by Unify Protect. So I'm going to type in RM space hyphen R space 2022 forward slash push enter return and leave it a minute as it goes through the system and deletes that whole of that directory and folder or file. And then obviously it puts us back to where we were type LS to see what's in there. And you can see now the 2022 folder uh, directory has been removed. And at this point now it's as uh, simple as closing our connection to the cloud key and then restarting the cloud key, restart the cameras and everything else that's connected to your network um, and then see if the uh, protect works. I have had this fault on two different cloud keys. One of them worked by deleting this folder. The other one wouldn't. I don't know if that's because we're on different firmwares. Um, but with that in mind, I'm going to show you how to uninstall the protect from uh, cloud key and then reinstall it because that's how I fixed the other cloud key. So I'm obviously logged in to protect through the Unify portal here. Um, and you can see I've clicked on one of the cameras. The important thing before you start to uninstall protect is to make sure that you unmanage the camera that is attached to the protect that you are uninstalling. The reason you do this is so you can re-adopt it back onto your new protect installation. So you need to click on your camera, click on manage and then click on unmanage camera. This will remove it from protect. And then one, so once you've put protect back on you can then uh, go into the add camera section and then just add them back in or re-adopt them into your unified protect and if you simply forget to unmanage the cameras you can actually uh, still uninstall protect and put protect back on uh, but you just have to reset the cameras by using the push pin on the back of the camera so I've logged back into the cloud key um, and I'm clicking where it says updates and then going into protect. I want to stop my protect software from running on the cloud key first. And then once it has stopped, we can then uninstall it again by pushing the three dots, click on uninstall. Are you sure you want to and click yes. Now I'm not going to show you the uh, uninstall process. It basically um, goes off. Uh, it's gone a while and then comes back on loads back up and once you get it to this stage you can then restart your cloud key and then you can reinstall it so again push on the three dots you get an install option and just click on install uh, and this will install protect back on the cloud key but bear in mind this is going to be a fresh installation so once you have protect installed you will have to then adopt the cameras back into protect so i can imagine if you've got a fair few cameras this could get a bit tedious but it does work and it does obviously fix the problem. So it is worth uh, following this process. If you've got no um, videos that you want to save that have been saved on the Protect um, Cloud Key, it's obviously, it comes a problem if you've got footage that you want to save that's important, um, to the stuff that's gone on that you want to keep on your security system. 
OK. So we've got, uh, we've uninstalled Protect, we've put Protect back on, and now we can check to see if the system's working. Now, obviously, I've skipped a bit here because I've readopted the cameras back in and had it running for a while just so I can show you the footage that it is picking up and to show you that it is working. So, obviously, like I say, I've skipped um, a day or so here or whatever it is. So, we've got the footage that we can skip back through. You can see now I've got the uh, live view, I've not got the um, Protect controller offline, lost power. I can skim through the timeline and go to different points within the timeline and it obviously works and shows me what um, it sees as it would be through the time lapse um, section of this camera. So that's it, that's how to fix the Cloud Key Protect Controller offline lost power fault that has been showing up on the Unify Protect. So I really hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube. Please do hit the subscribe button if this video was at all helpful. Please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I make. Hit me with any comments below. They are always appreciated. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.